Hey guys, Billy Davidson here with Davidson Pressure Wash and Painting, Hammond, Louisiana. I got something really interesting to show you in this YouTube video today. If you're looking to grow your pressure washing business, go check out the description down below. There will be a link in it to my website, BillyDavidsonVIP.com, and we hope to see you in there in one of our courses soon. As you see here, we are cleaning a large fountain. Guys, a lot of times these fountains go neglected for extended periods of time and homeowners, HOAs, and other corporations need their fountain service. And oftentimes they don't even know who to call to get this service provided. And you can definitely be the one to fill that specific need for that customer. Whenever you're cleaning these fountains, you can't use one of those really high power pressure washers because you could topple it over or damage something on it. Oftentimes these fountains do tend to get a little bit crumbly and falling apart over a period of time. So you don't want to put a bunch of pressure on it. So what we did, instead of using one of our monster pressure washers that we own, I just grabbed this little one out my garage. This is like a two gallon per minute, it's something I kind of clean up around our pool deck with it. And it was perfect for cleaning out this fountain. We did have to drain the fountain. We used a small pump for that. We actually took a backpack blower just to kind of blow some of the water out of it so we can kind of see what we're doing. Oftentimes, there's a lot of thick mildew and mold and growth inside of these fountains. And there's effervescence all over this particular fountain. And there will be some effervescence on the fountains that you clean as well. You'll have to check some chemical labels to see which one's the best to use for it. But in this particular case, we wanted to clean this fountain up. Even this pool area, this reservoir area that you see under the fountain, that's almost like a small swimming pool. It even has plaster in it. And that was actually neglected too. So while we had the little small pressure washer there, we cleaned that up as well. Again, made it look new. So after cleaning the fountain really good, we let it dry. And you can really charge a decent amount of money for these fountains. I'm going to talk about that towards the end of the video, kind of give you a breakdown of what we charge to clean it. And also, we repainted it. And look, don't get intimidated by repainting it. This is really simple to do. We're going to talk about that as well. And oftentimes, these homeowners don't know who to call, who to contact. So you will have to approach or start doing some targeted marking to clean and repaint fountains. And you'll be surprised how much money you can make in one day doing this. So we, again, we're going to talk about that towards the end of the video. That way you know exactly what we charge for this and you can kind of go off of that and perhaps start doing some of these fountains. In addition to that, doing some of these fountains would get you a relationship with this new customer perhaps. Maybe you can wash their roof, the house, the concrete, and perhaps they own a business. You can start pressure washing the business, and maybe restriping a parking lot. So again, these smaller jobs like this can lead into much larger jobs. I will say this fountain right here is very expensive. Also, it's very heavy. But even that being said, you don't want to lean on this fountain with your ladders. You definitely don't want to climb on it because you could topple it over or either mess up the level on it. So you want to be very gentle around this thing. You know, the only thing you really want to touch it is with the paintbrush and with a small pressure washer. Again, don't lean a ladder against it or prop your arm up on it or nothing like that. It's not worth the risk of doing it. But to paint this fountain, what we did, as you've seen, we cleaned it really well. We used a backpack blower to dry it out really good. We took a long lunch break. Then we just came back with the paint and started painting it. And it was nice and dry. Of course, it was a, a good, warm, sunny day, and it did help out a lot. You could come back the second day if it's not drying properly to paint it. This fountain right here took about four hours to paint it. It took one and a half gallons of paint. I suggest using a marine gray paint. This is more like a bronze color or a really deep, dark brown and when it actually dried, it got even a little bit darker for whatever reason. But the homeowner loved it. It looked great. And you'll see a little bit towards the end how it came out. And I would suggest not spraying it. Um, I've seen some guys try to spray these. That would work out. But you really would have to cover everything up around there. The reservoir, the landscape, and the driveway. Because sometimes spraying paint in a neighborhood is not the best idea, especially on a windy day. So we just elected to get a couple cheap brushes, you know, about $10, $12 brush. These are four inch brushes, an all purpose hand brush that you can buy at Lowe's or Home Depot and get after it. A couple guys, again, can do it probably about three hours, maybe four, depending on the size of the fountain. You wanna be careful and take your time and coat it really well. Make sure you cover all the cracks and crevices because there's you can see all the designs and ornate designs in this. 
it will take a little time to get that paint and all those little cracks and crevices but the money is really good on cleaning these fountains again these fountains go neglected the homeowner has no idea who to call they don't even know a service like this exists and you can hop in there and take care of this need for this customer the way you would want to do it is if you can get some pictures of a dirty fountain maybe you got a family member maybe you have a fountain or maybe you do one for free which i don't like doing free work but if you can get a really good before and after picture maybe you can take some screenshots of this video as well and put those on a flyer and go into these really nice neighborhoods where it's a gated community maybe you've been doing some pressure washing in there before notice some of these fountains and you can start marketing to some of these customers just with a simple flyer if you see the fountain out there, you could probably jot down the price to clean it and repaint it. I would say err on the side of caution, go a little bit higher than what you think it is, because again, you have to buy the paint. The paint in this case was about $50 a gallon. So we probably had about $125 in materials between the paint, the brushes, and the cleaning it up, that sort of thing. And then the rest is profit. One man could do this in probably two days, but if you got a couple guys like I got, you can do it in one day. So you have to kind of balance that out whenever you're giving a price to your customer. But again, if you're a little slow in business, or if you wanna just do some of this on the weekends, you can make some really good money doing it. As you see here, we're just applying the paint nice and even, not really getting in a rush doing it, making sure we do a really good job and putting a nice heavy coat on a fountain and it's real important because as you know these fountains are running 24 hours a day seven days a week 365 days a year so you have a lot of water flow going across it and also if you have one of these reservoirs you can talk to the customer about when you drain that that would be an optimal time to do any repairs to that plaster clean it really well repaint it whatever the customer really needs done you can do it at that point while the reservoir is drained and the reason why i'm calling this a reservoir is because that's exactly what it is in this situation the pump to the fountain is submerged inside of this pool of water and that's what supplies it pumps it up to the top of the fountain through the middle of it and then it cascades down and in the process of repeated so uh, technically this would be a reservoir um, so they come in all different shapes and sizes i've done quite a few of these some of them have square reservoirs this one's round oftentimes if you do other work like plaster work brick work you can also upsell that customer because oftentimes they don't know who to call and you can do all of these services and make a good amount of money doing it. And make sure you stay towards the end of the video. I'm going to show you something fairly hilarious that happened to us working on this fountain. And also, we're going to talk about the price real quick as well. So as you see here, we're refilling the fountain after we made sure there was no drips on the bottom of the plaster. That sort of thing. Made sure there was no trash in it from our feet. Refilling it, getting it back. And we would want to do this before we get the pump running back again. And... As you see here towards the end of the video, the reason why I stayed to make sure everything was back as normal, and uh, it's kind of funny, but uh, you have to see it towards the end of the video. So anyway, anyway, we was refilling the fountain. Once we got it above the fill line, most fountains like this have a, an overflow line, that sort of thing, and that will show you about where you need to uh, fill it up to. So as you see here, we get the fountain running. We noticed that we did not turn a valve on all the way. The water was full. It was cold outside, so we came up with this little thing right here where Apex would put some garbage bags around his leg to stay dry. As you see there, that is a little uh, valve right there that kind of helps dictate the height of the water. So we wanted to close that down a little bit because our water was coming out with too much velocity out of the top of the fountain. And that would cause the wind to blow the water onto the landscape. And, and of course, this chlorinated water. And over a period of time, it could damage the landscape. And so These garbage bags worked for Apex almost like waiters. He said he stayed dry, and he was appreciative of having those garbage bags around his legs wading through this pool of water. I can imagine if the neighbors seen this, they was probably wondering what was going on. But we had to adjust that valve. That was one thing that we did not 
do we had forgot about it but once we got that adjusted all was good with it the fountain looked really good so getting to the price of this fountain we charge seven hundred dollars to drain it out and to pressure wash the fountain and you might say that's a lot just to pressure wash and then we charge another six hundred and fifty dollars to paint it and you might say that's a lot and it you know it is kind of expensive but there was a good bit of work that went into it it was three of us working on it but guys also you got to remember this little setup in this front yard probably costs tens of thousands of dollars this fountain by itself costs thousands of dollars on the truck and imagine you have to put the reservoir in put the plaster build all of that have someone come install the fountain that sort of thing so these fountains are really expensive and cleaning them and painting them protects that fountain from degrading and the property owner is probably looking for someone in your area to start doing this so again it's 700 to pressure wash it that was us draining it uh, cleaning out the reservoir putting some chemicals on it to remove the mold and mildew before painting it. Then we bought the paint. That was $650 to repaint it, and we had to buy the paint out of that price too as well. So all together, we you know, did it in about a day. It took a little longer than what I expected. Looking back on it, I knew there was probably some shortcuts that I could have taken looking back on a project. So our next fountain will go much quicker, and we're going to be definitely marketing for some of this work again in our area if you'd like to see more of this content here on youtube please leave a comment below if you've been cleaning fountains or know some more information you can add to this video please leave it in the comments below also go check out billydavidsonvip.com if you're interested in growing your pressure washing business and i hope to see you in the next video